Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Apex Legends video. My name is Sweat, if you guys are new, and in today's video, we are going to be breaking down a Platinum Players gameplay in Season 9, the first split of Season 9, specifically, in Apex Legends, and hopefully, me reviewing these mistakes will help you guys improve your gameplay, and hopefully, never get stuck in Platinum again. Anyways, guys, if you had noticed, I switched from Silver right to Platinum, and the reasoning behind that is because... I did not receive any gold gameplay reviews in my Twitter DMs that were 1080p and that I could review. So it's not too late. If you guys are still stuck in gold and you're trying to hit platinum, make sure to send me that gold gameplay so I can review it on the channel. Twitter.com slash sweatband TV. Shoot me a direct message with the link and I will take a look at it. And one more quick thing before this video does begin, guys. I am now announcing that I'll be joining Team Kungarna, Team KNG as a content creator and they made me an absolutely fire montage so if you guys want to go check that out it will be in the first link in the description below like i said i really appreciate the team and it's going to be just up from here guys massive things to come in the future and i cannot wait to see what the future holds but anyways let's get into the actual video now all right ladies and gentlemen so let's get into this gameplay review it looks like we are in platinum four here landing at fragment west or east or i don't even know but it's it's cap city in my mind we got my boy salisbury over here i've known salisbury for the longest time it just happens that he had a really good gameplay for me to review i have not watched it yet but it does say apex legends plat ranked dub so let's see what he's working with here guys he's playing loba and the funny thing is that i requested this thumbnail be made before i even watched this video so i didn't even know that he was playing loba so it's just perfectly worked out this way but anyways guys let's get into it got the mozambique and a charge rifle not the most not the best loadout started out with i would say but we should make it work take that volt thank you i was gonna say volt and pk is a little bit better than charge rifle pk in the volt got enemies over there Whenever there's enemies nearby trying to fight or they start fighting, you might want to take a close look at the kill feed, guys. Make sure that you are the third party arising at the right time. Make sure there's knocks on each squad. Or if they wipe the squad, maybe just all push in at the same time and get that easy knock. Because they're going to be very distracted by looting. And I've talked about that many times. You never want to loot for too long. Especially in rank. Ranked is just known for third party warriors. Look at this teammate. Amazing teammate, Salisbury. Pinging everything. Alright, so you guys are heading over. I would wait for a knock right here. They do have a couple knocks in there, which is good. It's a good time to head in. Right away. Instantly notice. Oh my god, this screen is so bright. But instantly notice. Climb up on second floor, Salisbury. You're not going to get hit by that Revenant silence if you climb up on second floor. Definitely the play. Or even Loba queue up to the top floor. Instead, we're running right in. Okay, gets the knock. Not bad. Nice knocks. Instant finish. Shield swap. Perfect. He definitely watches my videos, guys. Guy behind him. Oh, and he's on the run. Get some shots off on him. Let's go, Salisbury. With the clean squad wipe. Now, I do just want to say a couple things about that. Like I said earlier... The best play in that scenario would definitely have been to go to the staircase, middle staircase or top staircase. It didn't really matter, but running into that rev silence was really, really risky because if a team pulled up maybe behind you or you ran in there and both of them focused you, it would have been tough for you to get out. Also, once you walked in that front door right here, uh, there was a person on the staircase to your right and then also a person on your left. I would have probably went around the backside or peek through the window from the side to try to get that knock because you're basically sandwiching yourself in between two opponents luckily they were so focused on each other that they didn't even see you and you can get the easy knocks but just for future reference if those are a little bit better of players they might have both focused you and that is not going to be a good scenario for you and so we're looting up a little bit and also guys i'm going to leave most of this gameplay in this time i know a lot of you said we want to see the full gameplay so i got you guys We're playing Loba so we can get a ton of loot, which is perfect. Looking for your teammates. Make sure to take your Loba ult down once your teammates are done using it, by the way, guys. Okay, he's got a team right on him. Definitely need to be communicating with the team. And he, you can see that his mic is on in game chat, I believe. 
but I just can't hear the comms. So he's definitely telling these guys, we got a team here. Good Loba Q out. Very good Loba Q to get out of there. Now we're just going to play it from this building. They have a horizon right on the roof already. I would highly suggest that another teammate get upstairs in the other building and maybe cross shoot from angles. We definitely need multiple angles on this team because they have high ground kind of. They kind of have high ground and they kind of don't if that makes any sense because they are at an even playing field from this top floor. And it's going to be very tough to shoot them from underneath. So they got a guy running to the window. Nade. The door. Oh, we're actually all in this building. Hold on. Sorry. We're all in this building, which is not as bad. But I would definitely maybe have the Wraith portal me out to the roof behind. If you guys know where we are in Fragment, there's a roof behind this building that you can easily get on. And that would be a much better angle to fight from. Salisbury gets some really, really good shots off on this guy. He's one bullet. I don't know if this is the play, though, Salisbury. He's running right after this guy, fully chasing him and leaving his back wide open. I guess putting a lot of trust in his teammates, but his teammates might not even be able to shoot that guy from the angle that he's at. So this is a very risky play. Could get shot from behind, but let's see how it pans out for him. Yeah, his teammate went down, which is tough. Right, he's kind of just watching this angle. He's getting climbed up on. Good shots from Salisbury. Definitely definitely go for the quick finish here. Get the shield swap if you can. Nice. Swap. Perfect. Climbing up again on you. Okay. Decides to go for the lower guy. Good shots. Good shots, Salisbury. Let's go, baby. Trying to get the finish. Got the finish off. Got the swap again. Nice. Coming upstairs. PK shot, the punch. Oh my god, Salisbury's popping off this game. Six kills, a thousand. Salisbury, I didn't even watch this video before this, guys. Does he drop a 4K? Does he drop a 20 bomb 4K in platinum? Like, I would lose my mind. Salisbury's popping off, though. But very good play by chasing that guy down below, leaving the guy up top that just climbed on you. You could either do two things in that scenario you could fight the guy up top that just climbed on you and get some easy beams on him. Or fight the guy down low and basically help your teammate out because he was chasing him. Decides to go with the low ground guy. It works out for him and he gets both kills, which is perfect. And you just notice the constant shield swaps that Salisbury is making to prevent the other players from basically just melting him. So good stuff from Salisbury right there. And it's very efficient shield swap rather than take a whole battery every single time. Because one, you're wasting your heals. Not wasting, but you're using all of your shield cells and your shield batteries when you could just finish the guy off and quick shield swap. Salisbury's having a heck of a game though right now. He, he hears some more people. So we got max KP guys. Six, six kills plus assist is max KP. For anybody who doesn't know. So we're in a good spot right now. If Salisbury really wanted to, he could just freaking camp the rest of the game. Like, not camp, but play zone the rest of the game and get away with it. All right, guys. So we took a little break and fast forwarded a little bit. Traditional Sky had to get all her loot back. So we were waiting on that. But we are picking it up at sweaty three stack building right here. He has height advantage. And they got a guy pretty much trapped up top here. Nice little knock. And that guy made a bad, bad play. I don't know what Danny Palacios two was doing over there but he was way separated from his team definitely not the play especially in rank you always want to be with your team it looks like salisbury traditional sky and sky flare have good comms here and they are very close to each other which is good always want to be playing as a squad notice the pings coming in showing where the person is exactly pretty decent shots from salisbury right there now, if they get a crack, I wouldn't doubt if they full pushed. They could even full push this right now because they know it's a 3v2. And they are. Salisbury's heading up. Get some really good shots off on this guy. He's one bullet. Phasing out. I would definitely focus on the guy on the left right now while this guy's phasing. But they all elect to chase. I'm sure that Bloodhound's going to be able to catch him. Which they did. This guy's trying to get up in that building. He missed the building. 
And now there's two things that this guy is probably going to do. He's either going to keep running away, which is good to chase because they can get that kill and eliminate this squad, even though he doesn't need the points, but it'd be nice to get them out of the game. Or they're going to take this building in front of us or the building right here. So three options, basically. I said two, but there's three. He decides to go in this building. And the player is... I believe still running. Oh, no. He cut him off with the perfection. Good shots. Oh, my God. That's actually a good Loba tip right there. If you guys did not know, you can basically queue into windows, which is huge. My man Salisbury's got the IQ of an absolute wizard. He's amazing. Love to see it. Throwing down the Loba ult. All right, guys. So I'm going to skip this part while they're looting up. All right, we're picking it up right here. Eight squads left, 24 people remaining. Salisbury's having the game of his life over here. Seven kills, 1,500 damage. They're making the rotation into the zone right now. I think they're just actually hunting squads at this point. That's how you know you're dominating a lobby, when you can just go wherever. It doesn't even matter, and you're just destroying. We'd love to see it. Traditional sky with the pings over here. They are right in the center of zone. I don't know if this is the best spot for them to be. Center of zone is usually not the wave in rank. You usually want to be towards one edge of the zone if possible. Unless you know where end zone is, then I would definitely play end zone. With like a Pathfinder or a Valk or a... Uh, what's the other one? Crypto. Bloodhound even. So they're kind of just playing this zone right here going back up to high ground which is a pretty good play in my opinion salisbury's really holding this angle he thinks that there's someone who's going to come up the zip line pretty soon and if they start fighting back there it wouldn't be a bad third party yeah he wants this third party that is exactly what we're going to get ourselves into here like I said, guys, make sure to keep an eye on that kill feed. Once a knock happens, they can get in the uh, in the fight. There's an enemy near me. Okay. He's moving very slow, making sure they don't hear the footsteps. Bloodhound scan kind of gave away the position there, though. Very good shots by Salisbury right there. Another quick thing, guys, I'm sure you already know, but especially in rank, make sure you're always calling out who's weak. Make sure your comms are on point, what color shields each character has, and if you can recognize what character is which with each shield, that's even better. So they're trying to solo out this guy on the right here. Doesn't look like they can get him. Salisbury's running up to this guy down low. Very, very bad positioning from that Bloodhound right there, but a great knock by Salisbury. Makes it a 3v2. But you gotta be thinking in this situation that other team was fighting them from long range, so they will be coming over, and they're already here. Salisbury with some good shots again. Okay, gets fried. Taking the bat, making sure to communicate with his teammate. Give me some cover. I'm a little bit low here. Yeah, he's going to get double teamed right here. This is a tough situation. But once again, guys, his teammates are right there to back him up. Even if he gets fried here, I don't know what happens. But even if he gets fried here, he's in a good spot still. His teammates are right there. He barely got hit, so it didn't even matter. Rotating around at the right side. Great shots. He's got some killer accuracy. I'm not going to lie. Let's go, Salisbury. That guy's one bullet. Good rotation from the Wraith. That was a good shield swap by the teammate, by the way, after that squad wiped, so you don't have to use a battery. But just a little thing to take note of right there in that certain situation. Salisbury had that guy very weak, and the Wraith was on the scan swinging wide on him. So I think Salisbury should have played the bins back there. It would have been a little bit better for him and he probably wouldn't have went down in this scenario. But nonetheless, you never want to go down to a team. Like one person on the team never wants to get knocked. You never want to have a knock happen on your team because that opens a ton of opportunities for other squads to run up on you. And this will happen 
especially in masters and pred lobbies they'll know if someone's knocked on the team like i said they're taking a look at the kill feed at all times and they do this at such a high rate that they're so used to knowing exactly when someone goes down that right when you get knocked the third party will come in instantly and clean you up and there's basically nothing you can do at that point so just try not to get knocked not even one person on your team if possible always try to play your life all right they got a res happening near him we got a minute 55 to zone salisbury's gonna take a phoenix kid i believe in this corner they decide to rotate into the next zone instead of fighting that team in zone because once this ring closes that will not be in zone where those guys are fighting so they're making a very executive play very good play right here to play zone and i honestly would have held that hill right there you guys could have knocked that squad out and it would have just eliminated more trouble in the future for you guys for end zone because those guys now have a free rotation into zone you could have held them out right there but we'll see what the play is right here i would have personally stood at the top of that hill and tried to rain down some bullets on those guys held them out of zone that's always what you guys want to do if possible gatekeep people in ranked i know it's kind of corny but it's ranked so you can get the points take the points all right, guys, so we fast forwarded just a little bit again. They were going into the Loba ult when we cut away there quickly. But now we are on the rotation. They took kind of a high ground approach and they're moving towards the edge of zone, which we love to see. Not playing the direct middle. So they hear some people running up on them. They're in a very good spot if people do run up on them too. And this guy is caught out in the wide open with Bloodhound. Definitely not the move. I was going to say, they should get that knock there, which they did, which is perfect. And also, Salisbury's running up on a hill right here. Good play by playing the rock right now. Shots. Nice. Valk's taking off. She panicked. We're getting instantly third party so swap perfect all right guys quickly before the third party comes even though the third party is already here and salisbury and his team just got that squad wipe the only thing that i would really take away from that scenario is that first of all the bloodhound and you did a very very good job of fighting that team up top and pushing them down low you always want to push teams to low ground if possible it was quite unfortunate that the Wraith actually fell to low ground in the first place and was fighting down there. In my opinion, if I were you, Salisbury, I would have fought the team from up top. I would have actually threw my Thermite on the team that was getting rezzed or on the guy that was getting rezzed. Could have saved you a lot of bullets and actually just knocked that guy instantly for you again. And then you could have shot bullets from up top on the hill and you wouldn't be in this situation with a third party running at you from low ground. They would actually have to take a high ground approach, which would make it a little bit harder for them. But nonetheless, great teamwork from you and the Bloodhound for pushing that team up top to down low. Now we're trying to get away from the third party. And your teammate instantly takes high ground, which is perfect. Make sure to take a battery right here. And you guys need to get that Bloodhound up to high ground with you. So the only thing right there, I would have portaled if I was the Wraith. I would have waited to heal up a little bit. I would have portaled the Bloodhound up to high ground just so you guys were all together. I'm surprised this didn't come bite, bite you in the butt here. But you do have high ground, which is good. We might be able to get some shots off. Even right now, I would definitely portal this, uh, this Bloodhound on your team up to high ground. Perfect! There it is! It's just a little bit delayed. Portals the Bloodhound up to height. Now, Salisbury needs to cover right now. That was a pretty poor spot to put that. Drone's coming back. Doesn't have the EMP though, so that's good. Good thermite right here. Hopefully that hits. Nah, it's only hitting the thing. Only hitting the black market, which is unfortunate. But that was good placement, I thought. I'm noticing another thing right here. They're not really checking their backs too much. There could be a team rotating on their left over to them. You see a little bit of a portal right here. There is definitely a portal down here. That team could easily rotate up top and take their position. But I mean, I guess you can kind of see it from your peripheral vision on the left. Always be checking your back, guys. At least one of these people should be checking their backs at all times, making sure 
They're not getting thirded. Right now, their only job is to hold this high ground. They're in a very good position still. Some shots taken at him. They're just feeding him damage. Salisbury's going crazy aggro on this team. Oh, good knock. Good knock. All right, so the Caustic's moving up. Good knock again. Salisbury's going crazy this game. I don't even know if that's person's in zone. Just hold them out of zone. You're good. A little bit of an overpeak right there. It's all good, though. Take that battery. Stay behind the cover. It's a full kill. Another full kill. Salisbury's dropping a 4K. It's guaranteed. This man really sent me the best gameplay of his life. <laughs> oh my god, he's insane. I'm getting some loot. I don't know how that Wraith got out of that situation. Oh, she's right there. Alright, good assist. Alright, just quickly, a little bit of a reminder. Make sure that you are always pushing with your team. Salisbury got a little bit aggressive jumping down low on those guys. If that Wraith had hurt him on the right side, could have been trouble for him because obviously he had full health. I don't know why he was still taking a heal right there, but that could have spelled trouble if the Caustic was near him. But luckily, it was a 1v1 situation, so that was a very good play, honestly, on Salisbury's part. You always want to try to make every fight a 1v1, even in rank, guys. If you can get that 1v1 and get that first knock, it's instantly just shifting the fight in your favor, shifting the momentum in your favor, and that's perfect. Well, let's continue. Three squads left. 14 kills. 3,400 damage. Massive game. It's going to take the triple take. I like the move. I like the move. I definitely would grab a scope. They got a knock. Traditional Sky with the knock on Frozen Frozen Shadow. He does grab a sight, which is perfect. Go four times. What are you doing? Go four times. He has a four times on that site, but he's not using it. All right, Traditional Sky trying to get the thirst on the right side here. Seems like it should be pretty simple. I don't know if it's one guy or not. So two teams remaining. This will be massive if he gets some shots off. And he is. Ooh, if he could have got that knock, that would have been insanely massive. We're still playing a very good position here. You guys notice I get a lot of questions about end zone. They are playing a very good end zone angle right here. This hill is making it very hard for this team to push up on them. And there's basically no way that they're going to pass them. So this is a very good spot. And they're holding the team out that's stuck down here. Well, this is a very good spot to be in. Aiming down sights with the triple take. Just basically holding these guys out of zone and they win the game. Let's go. 111. Massive shot right there. You can get another shot on this guy. Oh, 69 damage. Let's go. Take a quick battery. I don't know where this last guy is, but they need to really figure out where he is. I think they're fighting each other, actually. Moving up on the left. Not a bad play. Horizon's going up. Make sure you shoot that ult. Shoot that ult, guys. That Horizon ult. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was very lucky. All right. You better get this damage, Salisbury. Let's go. They let you get the damage. Perfect. Only thing I would say about that last scenario is definitely shoot that Horizon ult instead of uh, basically fighting against it. None of your teammates shot the Horizon ult. If you guys all focused that together for like two seconds, that would have been destroyed and it never even would have been a problem at all. But nonetheless, I would say a very good game on Salisbury's part and his teammates. Let's look at the final stat line because I know his teammates did a lot of work too. That was a very good 
team game, I will say. Even though I, I couldn't hear the communication between them, I just know that they were on the same page. Ooh, flex on him a little bit, Loba. Okay. Okay. My man would flex on me with the 4K damage game in Platinum. Very, very nice. If you guys enjoyed this video or learned anything from it at all, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Sweat. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys.